Back at the compound. Yep. You. You. Right? <laughs> Give it a you. You. I don't know why. Why not, right? Whoop. Looks like we're getting a load of stone. <clears throat> Want to come inside? Let's go inside real quick. I'm using a different camera because I, I noticed this this is an iPhone 6 and I noticed the camera stability meaning like when I'm holding onto it and walking it's not as stable it bounces around I like to get to that squawk box and shut that down we don't need that guy yapping do we alright Turn him down. <clears throat> I think I'm going to keep that fridge. Although the, the person that gave it to me said, oh, it smells like fish inside. The bottom part does. And I kind of figured it did because I had those bass stickers out there. Maybe I'll keep that because she claims it works for my imaginary uh, shed that I wanted to put in here. But still is not here. <clears throat> Next up. Well, as you can see, I've been really busy and this place has gotten folded up again. I brought the shelves inside. I haven't gotten the truck going yet. Although I got the engine to fire up. But then, uh, so much stuff out there that you now I have a big backlog of, of scrap. Oh. All right, so that's enough of that. And of course, as we know from earlier, I've been able to open the door. The ice is gone, but you know, it rained a little bit last night, so it's damp here. And also I got these steel bars right here and I cut one down to size. Which one is it? I don't know, one of them. <clears throat> but what I want to do... Yeah, I'll take time out. Make a video. Show, show all the curious minds. I don't want that to take, to take off. That, that might not. I mean, if it falls, it's going to wipe out a lot of stuff. There we go. Alright, so... <clears throat> I took my saws on and I cut this one down. The size I didn't measure it, which I should have. And I just forgot while I'm making this video that I can't walk over here any longer. <laughs> but my point was to take this and show I measured this thing, the steel bar, to come to the level of the top wooden 2x4 on that truck there. And what I want to do. These are kind of heavy, actually. It feels like it's about 20 pounds of steel. What I want to do is uh, put four of these, okay, on all four corners. And since it's got these holes, that top middle bar up there will be high enough. It will be, like, right the last, like, maybe foot or so. <clears throat> maybe with a angle brace or something. That way the sides can't wobble back and forth. So you like get on that side and that side. They can't wobble like that and then completely fall apart. Something rock solid and sturdy. Okay. And maybe I could put a gate on there. And I'll be able to use these holes right here to easily bolt on some angle iron. Maybe some bed frames or something. And if I want to, I could probably hinge... A door on there on the back. But I gotta do that to the yellow pickup first, I think. Replace the wooden. I'll put these back over here. You see, start sliding though. 
come and torpedo me. <clears throat> I found this fancy, fancy dancy little lamp thing. I think I'm gonna keep this, take this home. It's got individual switches and stuff. And it seemed like it worked. So I didn't trash it out. Cleaned it up a little bit. Shower doors. So I got some bed frames. <laughs> There's some guy that I pick up scrap from where I could see the raccoons were walking on that. Anytime you bring something new around here, the raccoons go and climb all over it. Well, they were probably here for the microwave. Or that hood right there. <clears throat> I got somebody that wants those like things though too. Anyway, I got this thing cleared out right here. Or I can back right up to the to the building like I'm supposed to. I can get my stuff out. Is this thing collectible? <clears throat> I cannot do a British accent. Westminster. <laughs> Chocolate assortment. <clears throat> I think the British are the only other country that does things in ounces like we do. So anywho, I actually want to fill this truck up right here and uh, <clears throat> take it to the yard. And this stuff, this has dropped dramatically in price. Extension cords and stuff. This stuff used to pay, well, there's a lot of copper in this one. It used to pay 90 cents a pound, it's down to 26 cents. Look at the freaking raccoons all over that, too. They, they probably can smell the crumbs and stuff inside the truck. <sighs> Slowly emptying this thing out of trash and, like, just distributing it throughout the neighborhood. Putting it in public dumpsters or store dumpsters or whatever. So I can get this thing ready for action. The goal is to get everything running. Oh, that that did dent the truck. I didn't realize it dented it. I had a pe big piece of scrap steel or stainless steel, and uh, we had a really windy day. It was like 60 to 80 miles an hour wind, and I guess it picked up the piece of scrap metal. And it threw it over the side of the truck and uh, scraped the windshield, apparently, and then scraped the roof. And then apparently, it came down on the other side here. I didn't realize there was a dent here, though. a bad storm I mean a really bad storm wind was really powerful so what's going on here oh you know what I'll get you can tell I have ADHD I looked over here and I seen the bag of cans and I better put these I better put these inside the barrel Looks like the raccoons have uh, been tearing at the bag there. I'm surprised they didn't uh, rip it to ribbons. What's in here? Oh, we got some wire in there. 
Might as well put it all in one uh, one garbage bag, right? We'll start a new uh, new can barrel there. We've already got a wire barrel. We got a couple of radiators to get dropped off there. Bring this thing closer to home. Slowly I'm getting organized. Save these pieces right here. Maybe to repair the door on the roll up door on one of my trucks. Toss these in the toolbox so they can't get lost so easily. <clears throat> All right. What else? What else, kids? Oh, yeah. Back to the truck. Okay. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos that, uh, you know, people repairing and stuff like that. Apparently, this tube is hard to find, and it is expensive. But this one YouTube uh, video the guy showed... Get a sawzall and he cut the tube because okay I went to Harbor Freight and they don't sell a wrench that's thin that will fit here okay and I got one oh where the heck did it go oh I put it in the van I got a sheet metal one that was thin enough to fit there Okay. But apparently it doesn't want to stay. I don't know where the hell it is. Under the rubber somewhere. There it is. Okay. This tool fits perfectly. And I do mean perfectly under that bolt right there. Okay. But there's a problem. Okay. The problem is, even though it fits perfectly, it doesn't fit tight enough. Because look at that rounded part right there. It doesn't grip the doesn't grip the bolt good enough to where it won't turn. I even tried to like base it out so it couldn't turn. I put it all the way down on near the uh, valve cover. Okay. I put something under it so it couldn't go any further. Because just using the force of both my arms, one going one way and one going the other, not good enough. Okay, so when I started cranking on it, this thing just started wiggling its way out. Yeah, I'm, I'm wiggling under as best that I can. Yeah, it's on there. So I took a pipe wrench and I put it on another one. <clears throat> That one's got like an angle to it. And this one, the handle will fit that persuasion bar. So I put this right here. And you quickly run out of room because this is in the way. Right? I put this right here like that, 
I started cranking down on it. I put something underneath that. And uh yeah, it got out of the it jumped out of the way. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. Other than I was watching this YouTube video and the guy took a sawzall and cut the emissions tube. And uh, I, I guess apparently Napa sells for, I don't know, $15 or something, some high temperature rubber hose that you can reconnect that tube with. Never heard of it, but uh, what are you going to do? I mean, this thing has been sitting since June last year, okay? It's not doing me any good. <clears throat> it's the same thing with that thing right there. That's been sitting for about the same amount of time since about June, maybe a little bit longer even. I'm not doing that truck any favors. I, I need to get that going. And it takes money. It takes a constant income, you know, daily flow of cash. And the gasoline has gotten really expensive. So that's why I introduced this thing right here to combat that. I know an old lady who's followed the fly. You know what I mean? That thing. So, I'm at my cutoff point. If I can't make it with what I got, then I, I have to give up. It's that, it's that simple. I have to cry uncle. So, my idea was to take from, like, uh, Canada Scrapper. Uses, uh, like, a Dodge Caravan or something like that. To go over, they get the perfect setup. Okay, that setup cannot be approved upon. This person's got a, um, a roll off dumpster truck. Okay, so you don't have to climb to you know to get in that dumpster, they just walk inside the dumpster and load that thing up. And then they, when it's full, they put it on a pull it on a chain and it gets pulled up on the truck. And then they use it like a dump truck when they go to the yard. I mean, you cannot improve upon that that scheme. But I noticed their truck is at their house. Okay? I can't do that. So I have some limitations there. Because <clears throat> they're like, well, we use the minivan and you can go and load your truck. Well, I can't really do that at my house. You know? I, I parked that thing out in front. You can't really load that because then you can get in trouble with the code enforcement people if you go load that thing on your property because then they'll claim that you're running a business. And, yeah. So, this stuff has to be done at a, at a storage locker or at a storage warehouse like this or something like that, like I'm doing now, and that costs a lot of money. No, I'm not going to tinker with that. This is the way it is. I have to make this work here. Got to work here. I'd love for it to work at the house because you know what? There'd be no overhead. Although, well, I can't say no overhead. There'd be very little overhead. And I wouldn't need as many trucks. <clears throat> ideally, what I need is a dump truck. Well, actually, ideally, what I need would be a uh, a container truck like what they use okay you just walk right in you don't gotta climb up on a sill like that and put everything in climb back down climb up and climb down you don't gotta do any of that you can just get right into the yep that's the perfect setup <clears throat> so me explaining all that to you guys okay you should all know that i have to work with what i got that's why i got the minivan to save me a ton of money on gasoline because let me tell you there's days when you go out looking for stuff and you just break even and sometimes you don't even break even you actually lose money what are you looking for stuff for when you got stuff at the compound because steel is the meal okay what i'm looking for primarily is scrap scrap steel when i find aluminum you need a lot of aluminum to make money okay and a lot of aluminum needs processing and I like to process that kind of stuff all at once like when I get a big shit ton 
take care of it then rather than a little bit at a time sort of like the assembly line mentality of Henry Ford right let's see where's a good impromptu place to put this this iPhone 6 There's no place. This is when you need to have the tripod, which I don't have. I got it with the iPhone 7. Bear with me. So. Right now, the price is really low. There we go. That's what happens with the aluminum right now. Just pile it up. But I'm running out of room. <laughs> so that's gonna be a problem really soon. I'm probably gonna just have to let it go for its current price. You know what I mean? I can only stack it so high and I need the money and I think the point the point of that is coming very soon copper uh, copper stashes are pretty low I've already burned through most of my copper you know during the winter time the copper and the brass those were depleted Nearly 100%. Just, you know, keeping the electricity on and keeping gas in the car and the rent paid and all that. Ooh, did that go where I wanted? <clears throat> what the heck's in here? One motor. It's actually kind of warm out. You know them stink bugs are out. I found a couple of them in my, in my van actually. You know, because inside the van there's a bunch of garbage that was inside that truck there. And I went to a, a public dumpster and my kids seen somebody watching so we stopped full stop on that <clears throat> i'm all over the place aren't i <clears throat> i'm impossible to you know to work for or to work for somebody else i just uh can't do it. I get bored too quickly. If I'm doing one thing. That's where Adderall comes into play. I keep sure you could stay all day and keep washing something and be happy. Yep. <clears throat> Gives me migraines. That stuff's no good. I mean, that's that's why we've had over the years. That stuff is part, partly to blame for you know those those kids going you know and harming other people you know in schools and stuff like that because they're all gopped up on the goop. It makes people like. I guess it has a. What, what kind of effect do they call that? Ah, tip of the tongue. Yeah. I don't know. I know what the word is, but for some reason I can't remember it. Oh, a paradoxical effect. Yeah. Like it's supposed to be one thing, but it doesn't. It does. It causes the problem to become exasperated. Old crank handle. 
I guess way back in the day. Looks like it's cast iron. Way back in the day though, people would they would go through the trouble of repairing and welding stuff when it broke. Rather than replace. Why was I holding on to that? I had a different reason. Oh yeah. I'm looking for something to hit myself in the head with. No, no. I'm looking for something to put under here that won't move so easily. Like that PVC pipe. this work I noticed the the video quality with the iPhone 6 is nowhere near as good as the video quality with the iPhone 7 yeah see it wants to move it wants to move That's made out of aluminum. I wonder, wonder if too much pressure will cause the valve cover to crack. You know what I mean? Do you ever fix one thing and you break another? <laughs> I hate when that happens. Fix one thing and break another doing it. Hmm. I've taken a long piece of PVC pipe and I stuck it underneath there and it did not work at all. Not at all. What? Not at all. Remember when? Remember when Madonna lived in London, and she was married to Guy Ritchie. She, she, uh. She started speaking with this <laughs> this fake British accent, like, yeah, what is, like, what is wrong with you, lady? I mean, it was so horribly cheesy. That almost fits that way like that, but... Not quite. Hmm. How discouraging. Of course, I overthink things. I'll spend an hour thinking about something and then 10 minutes implementing it. You know what I mean? Sometimes I I waste an enormous amount of time thinking about something and well that's what it takes because I'm not the smartest guy. <clears throat> so sometimes I really have to think they and even when people give suggestions I start playing out the suggestion in my head and thinking, will this work? Will this not work? Yeah. <sighs> Oh. Hmm. What else could possibly work? Maybe like a maybe like a rock or something? Like if I could find like a a rock that was like I don't know, big enough. There really aren't any. Maybe maybe a piece of uh Today's a day where I should actually be out there looking for stuff. 
but then again I'm in this quandary of if I go looking for stuff then I have more I have even more scrap here at the warehouse it's not going to move anywhere but then you need money coming in that rock is not it's not fat enough it's not really what I'm looking for maybe we'll try this one out what do you think Let me drop that off. I need to move that. I don't want it sitting there. <clears throat> it's really nice out today. UV index of five. Last year, this arm got so much sun, okay, because, you know, it's the driver's side, that, you know, if I get, like, bumped, it turns red. And also, the skin bleeds easily, which I don't think is, that's not very good. So, this year, I'm going to wear long sleeves. Especially on the, especially on my left arm, I'm gonna keep it covered up. It didn't get sunburned at all. It just got really, really, really tan. Like it was darker than most African American people. That's how dark my skin was on this side. See? Not working. I don't want to crack the moved try to pin it in there hmm. yeah as you can see, it's not working well. Not at, not at all. Not working at all. Even after pinning that in there like that. So, I'm just going to have to crack that. I'm going to have to cut that right there. I have no choice. I mean, I could end up doing great damage to the valve cover and then cracking that and I need another valve cover. I don't know. Time to get this stuff out of the way. And, uh, 34 minutes. I'll have to upload another video. See you in the next... I hope you guys enjoyed.